I just wanted things to go back to the way they were, but they never did. I mean, I know things change, but instead of us laughing, it was always yelling, arguing, and crying. Is there something? Is there something behind me? No, it's not. So I guess you got something to say. Such a dick. <laughs> yeah, better to be one than to suck one, right? And how did you react? I've. I've never felt so empty my entire life. Like, the one person I trusted more than anything to just I never thought it would end like this. You know I really can't fucking stand you right now. No, I can't fucking stand you, you fucking asshole. Oh, fuck you! Things ever get back to normal? No. I mean, we knew things were different, but we never said anything. I mean, we couldn't have one conversation without it turning to fucking Jerry Springer. Well, did you love him? Yes, very much. Well, if you loved him, why did you feel the need to do it? It's not like I felt the need. I mean, he did nothing for me to do that to him. It's just... It was stupid. I'm stupid. Why do you think she did it? That, that's probably something I'll, I'll never know. I had some people I graduated high school with come over for a get together. You know, you really don't have time to talk and, you know, and things like that because of life and stuff, you know? I can relate. Well, um, one of the people was this guy I always had a crush on. I didn't plan it. I just didn't think things would end up like that. Where's your future hubby at? We're all on a cruise with his family for Christmas. Are you nervous about the wedding? Well, I mean, we haven't set a date or anything yet, but when it gets closer to time, I know I'm gonna be shitting bricks. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that could have been bad. Yeah. Um, where's your restroom? Oh, down the hall to the left. I didn't even know you were in town. Well, you know, I thought I'd stop by. I haven't seen anyone in forever. Plus, it's never bad to get to see you. Shut up. Oh, you don't have to do that. Oh, it's okay. Plus, I got pretty good at this when I was a pledge anyway. <laughs> Here. Um, I think that's the last of it. You need anything else? I think I'm good. Are you sure? I think. Too much alcohol? I don't know. I mean, I know that's not, that's not an excuse, but it's not an excuse for what he was going to do. Could you go into more detail? He was always on his phone, always turning the screen so I couldn't see it. Then one night I looked through it, and there it was. Did it happen? No, it didn't happen. Well, what stopped you? didn't feel right. 
I mean, I wanted her to feel like shit. The exact same way she made me feel. I just couldn't do it. I, I, I couldn't pull myself to do the exact same thing. I mean, it seems like you still have feelings for her if you didn't go through with the other woman. I hate that I still love her. What did you say to him when you found out? I didn't. <laughs> I mean, why would I? I deserve everything that happens to me. <laughs> this past year, counseling the two of you separately has been great. I mean, to see the progress you both have made individually has been astounding. But a relationship is not one person. So today I want to see how far you both have come together. So I want you two to turn to each other. I want you to tell each other exactly how you feel about the commitment of your relationship and each other. Aubrey, why don't you start? Calvin, I know I messed up, but I love you more than anything. I just want to be with you no matter where it is. I've never felt this way about anybody. Calvin? Calvin? Just, just give me the ring. No, no Calvin, no, give, please, just no! Just give me the ring. <laughs> hey, look, look at me. You're a shit person, but I am too. And there's no one, I mean, no one, I would rather spend the rest of my life with. Aubrey, <laughs> Jessica Longate, will you marry me? Yes. <laughs> 